was born with a condition called ectrodactyly. That means I only have four fingers on each of my hands. A friend that hadn't seen me in a while came by and asked me what I'd done to myself. It basically just means that your joints are like fused. It's about bringing awareness because he's not the only one that will go through it. According to UN estimates, approximately 385,000 babies are born each day, totaling 140 million births worldwide every year. And still, there are people so unique in their looks, so rare in their attributes, and so odd in their illnesses. It looks as if they got born once in a thousand years. Let's have a look at them in detail. Tessa Evans a little girl born without a nose due to an ultra-rare genetic condition that also affects her vision. There are around 100 individuals in the world with BAM syndrome, making it one of the rarest conditions there is. This is Tessa Evans, an eight-year-old girl from Ireland, and is one of just 100 persons worldwide who suffer from Bosma arenia microthalma condition. However, Tessa is lucky as she is the first person in the world to have a nose implantation using 3D technology. But she won't be able to smell as she initially lacks the part of the brain that processes different smells. It will just be a bump of the nose, but will make Tessa feel like a complete person. We were able to put in a little implant in behind her nose and give her this little bump that was super cute and that was her first nose. Amanda. This clip posted on social media belongs to a woman named Amanda. Crossbar. Yeah. She has a case of ectrodactyly, a condition characterized by absence or malformation of one or more of the fingers or toes. She has only three fingers on her hand. In the video, she shows she's able to type on her phone using her thumbs, and she is able to make a fist. Only one of her hands has the issue. Her other hand is perfectly normal. Paul Carrison. Famously known as the Blue Man, Paul Carrison gained widespread attention due to the unusual blue hue of his skin. When did you first realize that you were blue? A friend that hadn't seen me in a while came by and asked me what I'd done to myself. However, his appearance wasn't always like this. The peculiar color transformation occurred during his quest to find a remedy for his flaky skin. One day, while conducting his research, he drank a silver water solution. After it turned your skin blue, you're still drinking it. Yes, but much less. Initially, everything seemed fine, but he later began applying silver directly to his skin, which led to a gradual transformation to a blue hue. If you could change back to the way you were, would you do it? I'm not sure. Despite the consequences, he expressed no regrets about using the silver remedy citing its success in curing his skin problems. Unfortunately, he reportedly passed away a few years ago, back at the age of 62. People are rather reluctant to hire blue people or people that are noticeably different. Kumari Nayak. This 63-year-old woman from India is set to enter the Guinness World Record for having the most digits in the world, 19 toes and 12 fingers previously held by Devendra Suthar, who entered the record book in 2014 with 14 toes and 14 fingers. Kumari Nayak boasting a world-breaking record 31 fingers and toes has been branded a witch by her superstitious neighbors. The poor woman struggles to live a normal life due to those delusional accusations. Aldrin this 11-year-old boy from the Philippines couldn't walk long distances or stand for more than 10 minutes. This restriction is due to a leg deformity. Aldrin was born with the disorder caused his knees to bend the wrong way. This unusual look made him the center of attention for all bad reasons. But his life took a happy U-turn when he was suggested surgery. It took almost half a day for doctors to reposition his legs. Fortunately, this was considered a successful surgery and he was recommended physical therapy to recover. Also, doctors believe that working with therapists and braces will help Aldrin to walk properly. Nathaniel Newman I know everyone looks different, except I look a lot more different than everyone else. 
These are the words of a young boy who was called with bad names just because of the way he looks. I know everyone looks different, except I look a lot more different than everyone else. Nathaniel was born with a rare craniofacial condition called Treacher's Collins Syndrome. The condition made him lose some of his facial bones, causing him to look a bit different. He's also more prone to infectious diseases and needs more critical care. He's had 53 surgeries by the age of 11, but his parents stay committed to the promise they made to Nathaniel to raise him as a normal boy. But he's more mature for his age and handles himself pretty well. Does that bother you? No, I kind of like it. Callie and Carter Callie and Carter can join twins facing a rare phenomenon. One in 50,000 to 60,000 births have individual sets of arms but share one pair of legs. You had one wish. You could wish for anything in the whole entire world. What would you wish for? Uh. Discovered at eight weeks, their mother chose not to abort. I knew it could happen because like I watched movies and like it pops up like Grey's Anatomy and whatnot. Though occasionally teased as spiders, their family emphasizes they are typical kids in a unique situation. Oh yeah, I, I've only ever treated them like they were normal. This story highlights their resilience, individuality, and the choice to embrace their extraordinary journey, shedding light on the challenges of navigating life as conjoined twins while emphasizing their shared humanity. Sometimes we actually want to do different things. Maramar Kuara. This 21-year-old was born with a facial tumor called cystic hygroma, which is a sac-like structure that occurs in the head and neck area of an infant. Victim of unkind behaviors, despite being born with a facial tumor that leaves her unable to even speak or eat, she gave her life another chance. Using sign language, she started making a name for herself on YouTube with her makeup tutorials. It's not easy having the condition she has, everybody looking at you, everybody staring at you. Marma once hid her face from strangers in the street, now proudly bears her beauty to millions of people who follow her online. Ryan Allen Famous as a man with boomerang arms, Ryan, 26, from Texas, was born with atheriogoropesis. That, oh, you have boomerang arms, or you look like someone that died and came back. A rare disorder that prevents the development of the joints in the arms and legs, leaving them fused. Basically just means that your joints are, like, fused. It has restricted Ryan's mobility in his elbows, fingers, and legs. I just know that, like, it limits my mobility in my arms and my legs. Despite his condition, Ryan lives alone and is very much capable of doing most things by himself. As I got older, I started figuring out how to do all these things. This brave guy didn't get surgery to change, as according to him, his condition makes him who he is and never lets people's comments phase him. Tell people is don't live your life based around other people's opinion about you. Garab. In a small village in Nepal, a baby boy with an extra appendage. Garab was born with an extra arm growing between his shoulder blades. The parents were advised to take the baby to the hospital within five days of birth, but due to financial issues, they couldn't do so. The baby seemed to be healthy and growing healthy, but this extra appendage can prove to be life-threatening in the future. To keep the appendage or remove it is now up to Garab's parents, as none of them is risk-proof. Li Jinping this unnamed boy from China was born with 15 fingers and 16 toes. It's a common condition that often runs in families called polodactyly, in which babies are born with extra digits. But the condition being common does not warrant that the child won't be prejudiced. The six-year-old had suffered years of bullying at school. He was called a monster for wearing big shoes to fit his toes. Lee had undergone a five-hour-long surgery to remove his extra digits. The surgery was successful, and Lee was able to fulfill his dream of wearing a normal pair of shoes. Jackson Buell This boy survived defying all the odds. Born with an underdeveloped heart and non-existent brain, doctors were sure that Jackson would not be able to survive for more than a few days. He's up against a lot. He has his challenges uh, every single day where he still throws up several times a day. He has seizures several times a day. Before birth scans showed extreme brain abnormalities. 
Doctors proposed the option of abortion, but the couple refused. The boy was born with little survival chances, but the parents didn't lose hope. Jackson had to get his nutrition from the feeding tube and sometimes suffers from mild seizures. The couple launched a foundation to spread awareness about the condition and help other families suffering from similar conditions. It's about bringing awareness because he's not the only one that will go through this. The boy unfortunately passed away a few years ago after surviving for about five years. We don't really treat him like a special baby. We treat him like any normal child. Sapatra Sasafen. This little girl from Thailand has been teased her entire life because of a rare genetic condition causing thick hair to grow all over her face. Supatra Sufasan got the Guinness World Record for the hairiest girl in the world. At first, she felt bad about her thick facial hair, but the world record boosted her confidence, and now she started acting, dancing, and singing. She creates her dance routines to the newest tunes with her friends and enjoys listening to Thai pop music. Jono Lancaster Jonathan Lancaster, aka Jono, was born with a rare illness called Treacher's Collins Syndrome. He was born with no cheekbones, underdeveloped ears, and a receded jaw. The most heartbreaking part of his story is that when he was born, his biological parents gave him up for adoption as they were horrified by the appearance of the baby. Abandoned by his parents and bullied by his peers at the age of five, Jono was adopted by an amazing woman who raised him and loved him like he deserved. And now he's healthy and living a happy life. Chen Tuanzi There are a few people who are born different and have to endure lifelong challenges. Just like Chen Tuanzi, a girl born with abnormally bent knees that gave her L-shaped legs. For a long time, she couldn't walk properly, and people used to call her the crawling girl as she had to drag her body parts with her hands. But being born into a poor family, she didn't have the means to get treated. But her life changed when the local newspaper wrote about her. After that, she went through multiple surgeries and is now able to walk. Lizzie Velasquez This is the inspiring story of Lizzie Velasquez. Born with a rare syndrome that prevents her from gaining weight, Elizabeth Velasquez was first bullied as a child in school for looking different, and later online as a teenager when she discovered a YouTube video that labeled her the world's ugliest woman. People left rude comments under the video. That made her self-conscious. Later, she was on TED Talk that changed her life. She decided to fight back against the bullies in a different way, by changing conventional beauty standards. Now she's an anti-bullying activist who spreads self-love. Stephen Ludwig Meet Stephen Ludwig, who grapples with Mafushi syndrome, a rare bone disease resulting in significant limb discrepancies. One leg shorter and one arm shorter. It caused one leg to be significantly shorter than the other, and one arm significantly shorter than the other. Diagnosed at the age of 20 due to its rarity, Stephen refused to let his disability dictate his life. Mafushi syndrome is so rare that doctors weren't able to catch it until I was 20, 21 years old. Despite uneven limbs, he embraces athleticism, engaging in basketball and golf with his father. Sports was the main culprit of my confidence growing. To bridge the height gap, he ingeniously adopted a platform boot, rendering surgery unnecessary as he grew comfortable with it. This is my collection of shoes. It might look a little different than yours. Steven's resilience destigmatized his disability, transforming him into an inspiration for others. His story exemplifies overcoming challenges and redefining one's narrative with determination and courage. Glenn Meet Glenn, a resilient individual who navigates life with lobster claw hands. The biggest challenge was uh, other people. Living an anonymous life, one day he suddenly visited a hospital to seek relief from the pain in his feet and left the doctors in complete shock by the unusual appearance of his hands and feet. It's embarrassing to, to walk like you're 90 years old. Yeah, right. This rare condition was diagnosed as ectrodactyly, categorized as split hand foot malformation. 
However, doctors wisely refrain from recommending cosmetic surgery, recognizing the functional capacity of Glenn's feet. You know, someone in their 50s, to have surgery on this might not be the best option. In a gesture of support, the doctor crafted custom shoes for Glenn, specifically designed to alleviate the pain caused by regular footwear. And I know you work a lot, you're on your feet a lot. Getting you something sturdy so you can go to work will be paramount. This tailored solution reflects a collaborative effort to enhance Glenn's comfort and mobility, embracing his distinctive characteristics. These custom boots, it's going to mold to the deformity that he has. Hydrocephalac Baby The birth of a baby in India left parents astonished due to an unusually enlarged head. Upon consulting a specialist, the diagnosis revealed hydrocephalus, a condition stemming from fluid buildup deep within the brain, causing head enlargement. The doctor recommended a shunt surgery to alleviate the excess fluid. At only seven months old, the infant underwent a successful operation, showing rapid recovery, although it would take time for the head to return to its normal size. Despite the journey, the parents found solace in their little boy's improvement, highlighting the resilience and hope in the face of medical challenges. Tiffany Geigel This is Tiffany Geigel, a girl born with Jarko Levin syndrome an exceedingly rare disorder impacting one in 200,000 individuals. Despite the disorder affecting her spine and resulting in a short torso, Tiffany is more than her disability. Although this condition subjected her to severe bullying and ridicule, Tiffany's resilience transformed this adversity into a superpower. My parents really kept that away from me to protect me so that I can continue to grow and, you know, thrive like any other child. From her childhood joy in ballet dancing, she has evolved into an aspiring dancer, defying societal expectations. It wasn't until I got phone calls after I did the audition on TV. Tiffany's story challenges perceptions, highlighting her strength and emphasizing that she is not defined by her disability, but by her remarkable journey and aspirations. Manpreet Singh. This baby is not a baby. Manpreet from India was born in 1995, and today he's 28 years old. Standing at a mere 23 inches, his growth stopped before he was able to walk or talk. The underlying cause of his condition remains a mystery to the doctors. They suspect a hormone deficiency, but due to the family's financial limitation, they're unable to investigate the exact reason. Manpreet will now have the appearance and mental age of a toddler throughout his life. He lives with his parents along with his brother and sister who look after him at all times. He is loved without conditions, despite his peculiar condition. Dongjay Semiksasim This woman from Thailand was born with a rare case of macrodystrophia lipomatosa, resulting in hands and arms that are too large for her body. The extraordinarily large size of her limbs restricted her from doing everyday tasks like combing her hair and getting dressed, and made her an easy target for rude comments from people. My hands are so heavy, I can barely lift them to comb my hair, shampoo. It's very difficult. Doctors have suggested surgery on her hands, but she didn't want that. The French said the only solution was to cut my hands off if I wished to walk around freely. Even with all the bitterness, she is determined to live a normal life. She is confident and independent, and running a superstore to live a better life. Palm Harbor. This 19-year-old teenager from the Tampa Bay area was born with amniotic band syndrome, which caused the stunted development of four fingers on her left hand. When the girl desired to undergo transplant surgery, the doctor refused, deeming the procedure impossible. However, the determined young girl, full of faith, proceeded with the surgery. Enduring eight surgeries in three days, she believes her dream has come true. Although her hand is still in the healing process and there is time for her fingers to function properly, her unwavering willpower brought her to this point, and it will surely lead her to the final goal of having five working fingers. 
Samir Khan. Seeing this, you might think this is some visual trick, but I can assure you it's most definitely not a trick. This teenage boy, Samir Khan from Pakistan, has unbelievable flexibility. Not only is he able to turn his head at 180 degrees, but Samir can also twist his shoulders at 360 degrees. The teen works hard to maintain his remarkable flexibility. He also shows other tricks he's able to pull. How is he able to make his body twist and turn is unknown to him as well. He currently works with a dance group and wants to appear in Hollywood horror films. Arpit Gohil Arpit, an extraordinary man from India, was born with ectopia cordis and is among those only 165 people who are born with this disorder. <laughs> the illness caused his heart outside his rib cage to beat under just a thin layer of skin. At first, he was thought to be born with two hearts, but a sonogram revealed one heart outside his rib cage. And was thought to have a short life due to this extremely rare condition. However, Arpit defied all the odds as he is now 18 and he is being hailed by doctors as a medical miracle. Although he feels no issues, a fall, bump, or even a slight fall could cause serious damage. Paya. Meet Paya, a girl born with sacral arginesis, a condition that has resulted in her having only half a body due to a shortened spine. My birth defect affects me every day. Growing up, she always considered herself normal, but through her teen years and entering high school, she faced rejection as a result of her identity and appearance. But she didn't give up, and despite all of the unfavorable conditions, she built her physical and mental strength strong. Using her skateboard to get around, she hopes to inspire people and live life to the fullest. Use a chair or a power chair to get around so I normally can't really do a lot of things. Dwayne and Arisha Born with a rare craniofacial defect, Arisha navigates the world with the help of her father, who has the same issue. 36-year-old Dwayne and his 5-year-old daughter have treacher Collins syndrome which affects the development of facial bones and tissue. Both father and daughter have hearing loss as a result of the illness and use prosthetic ears because they lack ears and cheekbones. I have prosthetic ears. I take them off every night to sleep or when I go swimming. Dwayne, a former bullying victim, is determined to shield his daughter. He aims to inspire hope for families, dealing with a challenging baby diagnosis through a children's book titled Aisha's Little Ears. Kawana. Now, with an illness so rare that this girl was the first one to have it in her country and third in the world. Kawana, a Brazilian girl, was diagnosed with Barber Say syndrome as she was born without eyelids. Kawana had difficulty seeing in bright light and her gums kept growing. She's undergone multiple surgeries, but still, she needs further treatment because her gum tissues keep growing. People have been prejudiced towards her ever since childhood due to her appearance. But her family gave her their full support, and she's well known on social media and is doing amazing things on her own. Chang This 22-year-old Chang was born with a rare skin condition causing fish-like scales to grow on his body. The skin across his body becomes thick and makes him itchy, and also his fingers never fully formed. Due to his appearance, he encounters significant teasing, so he spends most of his days hiding from the people. The doctors say it's the most extreme case of skin abnormality they've ever seen. Being the only child, he has to help his parents on the farm, but he feels the most calm when he's fishing. Adam Pearson Adam was only five years old when he was diagnosed with neurofibromatosis, a genetic condition that causes non-cancerous tumors called fibromas to grow along his nerve endings. Being the odd one out, Adam had to suffer bullying from his peers, which made him extremely self-conscious. Mutant, fat-faced, spastic monster. Adam's mother never lost hope and worked to provide the best for him. 
received an email to um, be, in, be in a freak show. People now recognize him, don't call him names, and he's happy with his life. Lucy and Sammy. How is it to be born perfectly imperfect? These girls were born with albinism, a genetic condition that affects the pigment in their skin, eyes, and hair. Both Sammy, 13 years old, and Lucy, 14 years old. I'm Sammy and I'm 13. I'm Lucy, I'm 14. Have oclotaneous albinism, a condition that makes them extremely sensitive to the sun. The girls didn't let their unusual condition define them and tried to find the positive aspects of themselves. Their mother is grateful that the girls have each other to rely on. I had Luce and she was born, she had a shock of white hair, she looked like a little grandma. They formed a social media page that blew up when people found their unique condition. And now they use it to create awareness about their condition. Agus Sophian. 32 year old Agus Sophian suffers from a mysterious condition that causes his foot to grow enormous, which has left him struggling to walk. With his enlarged foot weighing around 22 pounds, Agus sought out help in a local hospital, but doctors were unable to help him with the growing foot that was due to a benign tumor. His foot has been growing non-stop, making it difficult for him to work, but his wife always supports him. Agus says that having a condition like this makes some people feel disgusted, but he only wants to be able to work and take care of his wife and daughter. Mune Bakanov Everyone wants big eyelashes, but it's rare to naturally get them. This 11-year-old boy from Russia named Muin Bakov has had very thick eyebrows and long eyelashes since he was born. Men's thick eyebrows continue to grow and have an unusual length, making the shape of his eyebrows a little unique. Even now, his eyelashes are almost 5 centimeters long, and he gathers attention from people around him. After examination, the doctor said that Moon's rare condition was still within normal limits, and there were no problems with his eyes. So, he continues to live life as a normal kid. Beatrice Pugalis Born in Brazil, 25 years old, Beatrice suffers from the rarest condition that affects only one in 500,000. She was born with giant congenital melanocytic nevus that caused about 80% of her body to be covered with birthmarks. Her fellows at school used to say that she had monkey skin. Beatrice underwent over 30 surgeries from the age of six months to reduce her birthmarks, as they have had the potential to cause skin cancer. Despite experiencing bullying, Beatrice didn't let this get to her. She always had a positive attitude. She's now an inspiration for other people with Nevis birthmarks. Nathan Radicla. 34-year-old Nathan from New Mexico has a very rare condition. He was born with bilateral proximal femoral focal deficit. Not only is he one in 25 individuals with the illness, but he is also the only one in the world who can walk. The condition that I have is bilateral PFFD. He's pretty unique, even with his condition. Due to his unique illness, Nathan's height is 4 feet 6 inches. However, doctors have said he would have grown to be over 6 feet 4 inches. Even though being a bullying victim all his life, he didn't lose hope and tries to live life to its fullest. When we first met, I did think the height difference was going to be a sort of a problem because this was my first time. Levi Kristasek This 11-year-old truly is one in a million. Levi Kristasek was born with a rare form of dwarfism called Janssen metaphysial chondroplasia, which inhibits bone growth and causes significant pain. Only about 30 cases of JMC are known to exist worldwide. His body is not able to process calcium as it should, and it makes his knees bendy. He also has a curved back that would need to be surgically treated in the future. Levi's mother loves him regardless and wants him to have a normal life. Levi is also pretty mature and understands his condition quite well, which makes it easy for the doctor and his mother to take care of him. Ashley Copriel Born with a devastating disease, Ashley Capriel tries to stay positive. She was born with fibrodysplasia ossipkins progressiva, a rare disease that turns muscle and connective tissue into bone that forms apart from the skeleton. Ashley's right arm was amputated as a toddler after misdiagnosing her illness, and she's now unable to move her left arm. 
life is pretty hard for her, but she's found convenient ways to cope with her disabilities. She tries to live her life happily, and she's made friends with other people with the same condition. Michelle Kish This girl right here is not a baby, but a 20-year-old young lady. Michelle suffers from an extremely rare genetic disorder called hollerman streiff syndrome. Her symptoms include a cranial facial disorder, cataracts, and dwarfism. Her condition was so rare that the geneticist had to recognize the symptoms through pictures in a medical book, as no one had seen the illness in person. Her parents and elder sister take great care of her. Michelle is known to be a very lively, smart, and cheerful girl, and aspires to be a pediatric doctor. It's time for today's open discussion. 23-year-old Alyssa Cleland from the USA was born with a disorder called ectrodactyly, which prevented her hands from growing normally, and now she only has four fingers on each hand. Alyssa also had her right leg amputated at the age of four later in life because she was born with a rare condition called paraxial tibial hemanalia, which prevented her right tibia from developing. Alyssa hasn't let these obstacles control her life, though, thanks to prosthetic limbs. The young lady is now a paradressage writer and frequently uses social media to share parts of her life with people and spread awareness about her condition.